Hey guys, happy Thursday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope you all have had a great start to your day so far. So I'm very excited to share today's candle haul with you guys. We are going to be discussing the brand new Yankee Candle Caribbean Carefree or Carefree Caribbean Collection. So there are six brand new candles that are Caribbean country themed inspired candles that are now available at Target from Yankee. Um, this is kind of a surprise to me. Um, if you guys don't know already, maybe you're new here, I actually work at a Yankee retail stores and I had uh, heard nothing about these. I literally had no clue this was happening. Um, Yankee doesn't actually normally do a summer collection. They normally just do their spring collection, which launches in uh, normally like January. And then they do the scent of the year normally in March. They'll have like little collections, like they have an Easter collection. They'll do like a pride collection in June. But other than that, they don't really do um, a summer collection necessarily because their fall collection comes out in June. So they're kind of like, ahead of the game I guess already and they normally just have their semi-annual sale and you'll see like fun summary since come back but at least to my knowledge since I've been shopping with Yankee they've never had a summer themed collection and so I was just really surprised to see these but it also made me so happy because I have been asking for years for Yankee to do a tropical summary collection. I really think that um, it just makes sense for them because they do really well at some of these tropical scents. And I just really always wanted them to do a summer inspired collection. And I'm so glad that they're doing it this year. And they are available at Target right now. Now, if you're gonna ask me what's the whole deal with like them showing up at Target early, I really have no idea. Um, Yankee and Target have a, I guess like, agreement and yankee does this with a lot of retail stores because they also sell yankee at walmart they sell them at kohl's they sell them at um you can even find yankee at like home goods and the outlet stores like that i feel like yankee is everywhere now but they have like an agreement where they basically send i guess a select amount of candles to target and then they get to put them on a discount and so i don't know if maybe the yankee candle people just like don't tell them when to put the candles out or maybe they are telling target to hold these candles until our store puts them out first but target is just not listening because i know that that's like how like sometimes like ulta is when they get stuff they don't really follow directions they're like if it's in the back room we're bringing it out and selling it and so i really don't know what the deal is with that um as a yankee candle employee i do kind of wish that they could get that together because it's really hard for like you know, Yankee Candle to sell their candle and have people come to the retail stores and buy them when you can go to your local Target and not only get them months in advance, but also you can get them at such a better discount. Um, just by themselves from Target, they are only $20 for the two wick signature candles, which at Yankee run full price for $34. So major price increase and then target does also run sales occasionally just like this week they are having their whole target circle week which i didn't even know target circle was like a thing i did sign up though so i could get the discount and they're having 30 percent off all candles and so that sale price of 20 dollars goes down even more and they are actually currently $13.99. So you can get the two wick, which retails at Yankee for $34 normally. Now we all know Yankee has coupons all around. They have sales all the time. But to get this for $14 at a Target, it's like kind of like how am I supposed to sell these at a retail store for Yankee when you can get them early at Target and you can get them on a much, much better deal. It just kind of like doesn't make sense to me. So I wish that Yankee could get that together, either like have Target hold them or maybe just wait and then have like the retail stores get them first. Cause I do want Yankee to bring back some of that like exclusivity to, uh, to their stores. Cause I think that that's just like what is gonna draw people in. But it just, why would you go to a Yankee store if you can just go up to your local Target, especially considering more people nowadays are like losing their Yankee stores and Targets are everywhere obviously, so. Anyways, this is my little rant. But like I said, they are on a really good sale right now. I actually was just gonna wait until my store got these 
if they even will. I actually don't know though if the retail stores will be getting them. Um, I have not heard anything. My manager has not heard anything. So I really have no clue what's happening there. This might just be like an exclusive to Target collection because I haven't found them anywhere else. And I feel like I would have heard something by now if they were coming to Yankee, especially considering it is already the basically middle of April. I mean, it's the 10th when I'm filming this. So we're almost to the middle of April and we haven't really heard anything though. We have gotten like our semi-annual sale promotion stuff. So that will be starting around late May, around, more, around Memorial Day. So I don't know what's happening. It's, it's kind of crazy, but anyways, you can get these at Target right now for a really good deal. Uh, like I said, $13.99 for the two wick. And then they also do come in the original uh, classic one wick paraffin jar that looks like, um, this isn't one of them, but that's like what it looks like right there, that size. And those are only $11.39, which is amazing because those are normally $31 at Yankee and then they're normally $17 at Target. So they already normally have a discount for the ones at Target, but then obviously with this extra 30% off, it goes down even more. So I wasn't even planning on buying these yet because honestly, I, like I said, I wanted to wait for my store to get them. I want to support my store. But then also, I just like probably wasn't going to burn these quite yet. It's only April and I normally don't like to get into tropical stuff till at least like May. And so um, I'll probably just have these sitting in a cabinet for a few weeks until I like am ready to burn them. But it has just been very consistently sunny here. It's like 70s today. So I may just go ahead and start burning these in the next couple of weeks and kind of um transition into tropical time since but anyways uh the whole point of today's video is to do some first sniffs for you guys we are going to go through all six i did pick up all six um i didn't actually smell these in person before i bought them i um ordered them through my target app um I actually, uh, the Target near me didn't have them because I went in stores looking for them when I saw all the news about this from other Instagrammers. And so I looked, but my local Target that's like five minutes up the street didn't have it. So um, I did look on the app and the one closest to me um, that had them was actually the one near my work. So I just, um, I ordered them for pickup there and then someone actually brought them to my car so that was really convenient um, but I didn't smell these in person so I just ordered all six and was like well, we're gonna smell them and um, I have already smelled these so I've already like put my nose in them I couldn't help myself but um, I do want to give you guys some first sniff initial impressions I haven't burned any of them yet so we're just gonna talk about the notes uh, the Target website does provide like a little blurb on these. It's not um, like the full on top middle base notes like the Yankee website will have, but um, it's still something to kind of, you know, base off of. So we're going to be doing uh, all of these candles today. I'm trying to, sorry, I'm on the app for Target and trying to get to the notes. So yeah. Um, so I want to start by going through the scents. I will just tell you the name, show you the labels, look at the color, and then we'll go through each scent individually and talk about the notes and then talk about what my nose actually smells. I will link these down below from Target so you can find them there. Uh, let me know if you guys have gotten your hands on these and if you have, I would love to hear kind of your thoughts on these as well. So let me know in the comments, but no further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so again, I'm gonna start by going through all six scents. So. First up, we have Bahamas Beach Bum. You guys, I was so excited for this one. I love a good, just basic coconut scent for the summer. And based off the label, that is what I expected here. And yeah, that's what it is basically. So we'll talk about it in a second, but this is the Bahamas Beach Bum. All of the labels are um, basically the same look. They're not the wraparound like the normal tumblers, which I kind of like this more simple look. Sometimes the wraparounds just kind of look a little bit chaotic. So this is just kind of nice and more simplified. And they all basically, they have different designs. Like this one has uh, some peaches and some florals. Um, so yeah, they all have a little bit different, but they all have that like main, um, you know, label in the middle, I guess. <laughs> Losing words here. Um, okay, so Bahamas Beach Bum. This uh, is the Bahamas one. They are all based off of different Caribbean island countries. And so I really like the destination aspect of it. I think that's really cool. So that's Bahamas Beach Bum. The next one is, uh, and I might mess this name up because I was like looking up the definition and I'm like trying to remember, colorful 
Curacao. I think that's how you say it. It might be Circo, but I'm pretty sure it's Curacao. Colorful Curacao, uh, first off. Love this, you know, color of wax. Two wicks. Love this just like bright yellow wax. I feel like you can kind of guess what this is gonna smell like based off the color and the label. Obviously there's some peaches on there. But this one is uh, Colorful Circo or Curacao. I think it's Curacao, yeah. I think it's Curacao. Let me know in the comments. I know there are pronunciation police all around, so. Uh, Saint Lucia Skies. This one is a really pretty, like airy blue color. Um, we've got Jamaica Vibes, which funny story with this. Um, I, a couple of weeks ago for my spring break, I was bored and we're like an hour away from, actually less than an hour, like 45 minutes away from the Yankee Candle Outlet in Williamsburg. And so I went up there because I had never been to like the outlets. They had the flagship store years ago. Um, around COVID, it closed and I loved that flagship store. Um, I always went there when I was younger. My mom would take us and uh, my sisters. And um, it was just such a fun time, but they ended up doing a pop-up a couple of years ago and it's now becoming permanent. It's not the same as what it was, but they will be doing renovations to um, you know make it super fun. And hopefully that will be done before the holidays. But anyways, when I was there, I actually she saw this candle in the original jar and I saw it and I was like interesting I've never seen that before and I guess that maybe it was just like a like random outlet candle because there are a lot of those from Yankee I feel like just outlet candles you'll just find like something random and you're like what is this and I was like it's probably something from like 10 years ago but little did I know this is part of the new summer collection so I thought that was kind of funny but anyways this is Jamaica vibes it's got a pretty uh like green colored wax um, we've got Ocean in Aruba. This one is also a really pretty blue wax. These are kind of similar in color, but um, this one is a little bit darker and this one's a little bit more of like that uh, sky blue, I would say. And then the last one is Barbados Spiced Rum and this one has a like pink radish wax. So those are the six fragrances. Um, let's go ahead and dive into each of these individually. Again, I'll read off the notes, the little blurb, and then we'll talk about what I actually smell. All right, let's start off with, a, with what I think is my personal favorite. I kind of have a tie for my favorite, and so I'll kind of um, do those two first. But the first one is the Bahamas Beach Bum. I was so excited for this Bahamas Beach Bum. Like I said, I am just like that basic, coconut, um, tropical, sunscreeny type person. I love those types of scents during the summer. And so I was just so excited for this one. So uh, the description on here says, dream of living right on the beach in the Bahamas with the scents of cocoa water, jasmine, salted driftwood, and white sands. Oh, you guys, it's so good. I freaking love this one. It is so, so good. If you love those basic, coconutty sunscreen um, vibes. If you like that, you're gonna love this uh, Bahamas Beach Bum. This definitely has a nice coconut base to it. It does also have a very kind of like sandalwoody um, like base to it, I would say. I think that there's some like woodsier undertones in here that just kind of give it like a really nice like beech wood smell almost. Um, there, it has the driftwood. So I'm guessing I'm like mixing up that driftwood with like a sandalwood, but you definitely get that. Um, jasmine, there is a slight floralness in here. It's not a ton. I just think it's just a hint to kind of give it a natural like, uh, like floralness, I guess, or like nature -y smell, but this is so good, you guys. This is really beautiful. It's it's a really pretty scent. Um, I would love for this one to just be like in the full lineup for Yankee. Just put this in the regular lineup and have it uh, just like, even if it's just for the summer, so I would just love to see this one come back every year. It is so good. Um, I really hope that this does good in terms of performance for specifically strength and throw. I already know that I'm really happy with the burn on these. They burn really well for me. They burn really cleanly. It is that soy paraffin blend. It's those good wicks. So I don't, you know, doubt that these will burn bad, but my only thing is just going to be like, I hope it has a good strength and throw. And if it does, then I would definitely get more of this because I think it's just a beautiful scent. And I actually think I might get one more of this. Um, 
maybe when it hits my store, I'll support my store that way. Uh, because I think I want one of these just to like have in the house this summer. And then I also want one for my bedroom because I think that this is a really pretty bedroom scent as well. But yeah, it's amazing. If I had a beach house or like even a lake or a river house, the scent would definitely be there. So yeah, I love this. So good. Uh, so that's Bahamas Beach Bum. I think this is my favorite, but I do have another one that I'm like tying these two together. So that's the Bahamas Beach Bum right there. Okay, let's go to our next one. Let me find it on the app. This app kind of has a lot going on, so I've got to <laughs> learn how to use it. All right, the next one that is tied for first place is the Colorful Sirico. I think that's how you say it. Curacao, a Sirico, I'm pretty sure. All right, so enjoy the vibrancy of Curacao or Sirico with mango, passion fruit, and creamy coconut milk notes. Okay, this is delicious. If you love this, um, you know, like mango, coconut cream fragrance, I think you're really gonna like this one. If you guys remember a few years ago, Yankee had a scent called mango ice cream. It was in their spring lineup. I want to say that was like spring of 2022. I think it was in that Sakura um, Blossom Festival collection. If you remember that one, it was like a one and done. It didn't come back ever. But this kind of reminds me of that. Not saying they're dupes at all, because I think that this one definitely has um, a little bit more of like a tropical vibe to it. But it is so good, and I know it has peaches on the cover, but this is definitely mango. The main note in here is definitely mango. It is a really nice, um, like, ripe mango. It's got um, a really strong sweetness to it. Mango is just, like, a very naturally sweet um, fruit, but then you obviously add in that, like, um, creaminess and then also sugar in here for sure. There's definitely some added sweetness and it just makes this one like very sweet. So you've got to like sweet scents to like this one, but it's so good. Um, and then I love the creaminess in here as well. Um, it kind of makes it smell like a mango smoothie almost. Um, whenever I go to uh, the um, local faux shop, they always have a mango smoothie with boba in it. And I love to get the mango flavor. And this is literally like what I think that this would smell like. Like I've obviously never smelled it, but if that mango smoothie had a smell, this um, scent, this would be what it smells like. It is so, so good. I will say it has that passion fruit note. I've actually never tried passion fruit, so I can't really tell you like what passion fruit necessarily smells like. But I do have um, some other fragrances that have passion fruit in them. And I will say, I definitely detect like a slight passion fruit note just based off of what I know those other ones smell like. But yeah, this is, this is so good. Perfect for summer. I definitely love this one. So these are like my top two in terms of uh, favorites. So Bahamas Beach Bum and Colorful uh, Sierra Co. Curso, however you say it. Um, sorry, notice I'm honestly not being disrespectful. I'm just really bad at pronouncing stuff. So um, yeah, those are my top two favorites. So if you could only like buy two of these, that's what I would recommend basically. Okay, let's get into these other ones. We've got four more. Oops, I just hit a button. Uh, all right, so let's do the Ocean and Aruba next which is, where is Ocean and Aruba? Here it is. Okay, so this one kind of surprised me a little bit because based off of the um, like look of the candle and the, um, like the color and the label, I kind of expected something completely different. And then when I smelled it and read the notes, I'm like, okay, that's the vibe that they were going for that one. So based off the label and uh, color, I expected like a very, beachy, kind of like fresher, um, like aquatic scent, but this is actually fruity. Um, the notes on this one say notes of pink watermelon, sparkling waves, and sugarcane create the perfect picture of Aruba's deep blue sea. And you guys, this is totally like a watermelon sugar scent. If you love uh, Yankee's Juicy Watermelon, I think you'll be a big fan of this one. It's a very sweet, ripe watermelon fragrance. It's definitely got a slight honeydew vibe to it as well. I think watermelon and honeydew are just very similar. Um, but yeah, I actually like this one. It's funny, I don't actually like watermelon scents most of the time, so I'm kind of interested to see if I will end up liking this one once I burn it. But so far on cold, I do like how this is smelling. It's very sweet. I feel like this is like very similar to the colorful um, 
Kirso Circo in the same way that they're both extremely sweet. So I think that um, you have to like sweeter scents to like this one. And it may come off as slightly artificial. I think that that's kind of my problem with watermelon is sometimes it just comes off as extremely like candied and artificial and kind of smells like a like watermelon Jolly Rancher to me, which I know I'm sure some of you love. But I don't always love that artificialness. Um, but this actually smells really good and just like refreshing on cold. And so yeah, I do like this one. I hope I like it when burning, but it's it's really nice. So that is the uh, Ocean in Aruba. It's definitely different than what you would expect. I think like based off just smelling this one, I would think it would have more of like this color of wax and it would have like watermelons on it and like um, palm leaves or something. This is very beachy, like ocean inspired so i don't know what they were doing there but anyways that is ocean in aruba okay let's go to the next one um let's do saint lucia skies um this one i definitely kind of guessed what the scent would be like and um based off the name the label and the color and i was kind of right and i'm sure most of you can guess it this is your very like fresh ocean air type scent so uh, the description says, luxuriate under sunny St. Lucia skies with refreshing mineral water, island flowers, and blue spurnalia. See, here I go again with pronunciation. I'm just gonna skip that. Okay. <laughs> this is really good though. I really like this. If you like this more um, fresh, beachy, airy type scents, I think you'll really like this one. It definitely has like a floral vibe to it as well. It says island flowers to me. It's very like cotton flower almost because it is very fresh. It has like a laundry soapy smell to it, but I really like it. Um, I feel like this is the type of scent though that Yankee's already done before. So I'm not saying don't get this one, but I feel like out of these five, this is the one that to me is just a little bit more redundant, I guess. And if you had to cut off one, I feel like this one might be okay to cut off, but I still really like it. I will definitely burn this. I actually like these more fresh, clean, laundry, soapy type scents. I think that they're just good to have in the house just if you want something calming and clean and fresh and that's what this is. It's good though. It's definitely got an aquaticness to it as well. It's kind of got that like watery uh, smell, but I like this like floral, aquatic, fresh, soapy scent. It's nice. I do like this one a lot. So that is the Saint Lucia skies there. Again, no hate to the scent. I actually like it, but if you had to cut one just based off of like what we've already seen from Yankee, because it is giving very ocean air, catching rays, um, what are the other ones? Clean cotton, um, all of those like more beachy scents. I think that this is super similar, but I still really like it. Um, it's funny, I actually like my first love in candles, like my first like favorite like category in terms of scents was those more like fresher laundry type scents. And so I still really enjoy smelling them in the house. So that was the St. Lucia Skies. Okay, let's do the Jamaica Vibes next. This is the one that I, that I saw on the outlet. I don't even think I smelled it when I was in there. I was like, interesting. Uh, but it's Jamaica Vibes. I like this green wax also, by the way. It's very pretty. I like the green tropical wax. Okay, so this one says, experience Jamaica through the scents of emerald palm leaves, tart rhubarb, rubber, however you wanna say it, and pink pepper and patchouli. This is actually really nice. I will say, the first time I smelled this one, I was like, hold on, what am I smelling? Because it's just very, like, a lot going on, I feel like. But um, I actually watched Coffee and Candles video, and she actually, like, totally told me what I'm smelling in here. It's grapefruit, you guys. This is very much a grapefruit scent, and it's actually really nice. Again, I just didn't know what I was smelling, so I was like, what does this smell like? Like, I definitely smelled, like, a hint of, like, a patchouli and, like, a pink pepper, but I didn't know what that base note that I was smelling, and it doesn't say it in the notes, but it's totally, like, a citrusy grapefruit scent. Um, you do get some of those, like, peppery patchouli undertones to it. It's almost like a slight woodsy in here um and then it does have like a green i would say from like the palm but it's really good with a grapefruit at the base i really like this one actually this is definitely one that i could see myself repurchasing if it performed well it's definitely got like a citrusy vibe to it with like some patchouli the patchouli is not bad so don't let this 
patchouli scare you away. That's definitely a note that would scare me away personally because it's patchouli to me just like sometimes doesn't come off as very pleasant. Sometimes it just smells dirty to me. But I um, think that the patchouli in here actually adds a really nice like woodsy touch to this. So yeah, very pretty. I like this one a lot. So that is the Jamaica Vibes. And then the last one, I'd save this for last because I um, kind of thought that I would not like this scent, honestly. This is the one out of the six that I was like, this one will probably not be up my alley because I just normally don't like these types of scents. This is the uh, Barbados Spiced Rum. So I don't love the super boozy scents. And I do feel like in recent years, Yankee does a lot of these like more boozy scents. They had holiday cheer during the holidays. They had sweet plum sake a few years ago. They have had just a lot of those more alcoholic boozy type scents. And just personally, they're not something that really gravitates my interest, I guess. And so I wasn't really expecting to like this one that much, but I'm actually really surprised at how much I do like this one. Um, the description says notes of warm rattan, island spices, veveter, and rum barrels fills the air on your Barbados adventure. And this is really nice. I really like this one. I will say it's definitely not in like my normal, um, like comfort zone. This is definitely not in my wheelhouse, but it's really nice. Actually, it's a little bit different as far as the rum or the like alcoholic component goes i really don't smell that much at all honestly i'm sure a lot of people will want the rum in here and they'll be like why is there no rum but there is just not really a ton of rum in here i don't smell that much of a boozy scent now that said i don't really know what rum smells like i don't like smell it or drink it or anything so i really have no clue what i would even be looking for but based off of like sensitive smelled rum in i don't smell it in here to be honest so don't let that boozy component scare you away this is honestly mostly to me the vanilla which is not even listed in here but i get a really like creamy vanilla note from this one and then i also get a ton of the spice in here it just says island spices so it doesn't really go into specifics of like what spices you're necessarily smelling but i would say that this is um probably just like a little bit of clove and then maybe just a hint of like a nutmeg or cinnamon but the spices are more toned down they're not like right in your face but there is a good amount of spice in here and that almost leads me to the conclusion that I think I would kind of like this more a little bit in the fall or winter time. I know that uh, Coffee and Candles also said that in her video. I feel like this to me would be a little bit more appropriate as like a holiday scent. So I don't know if this is like specifically summertime, but it is nice. Also, let me not forget to mention there is a very like smoky note in here as well. It's kind of almost like a Palo Santo smell. But it's just, it's actually kind of nice though. I like this one. It's definitely not the normal types of scents that I gravitate towards, but I think that it's a really good one. And if you're looking to maybe take a step out outside of your comfort zone and you want to try something just a little bit different, I think that this uh, Barbados Spiced Rum could be a really good one to do that for. So yeah, guys, that is all of the new Carefree Caribbean collection candles. Um, I'm so happy to have my hands on these. Um, I'm just really excited for this collection. I'm so glad that Yankee did this summer collection. I, like I said, I've been saying it for years. Um, since before I even worked there, when I would shop there, I would always tell the associates, I'm like, y'all need to really pitch them to do a summer collection and uh, do like a tropical theme because I really do enjoy those types of scents. And so I'm glad that they are finally doing it. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of good, um, you know, feedback with these. I think that they're going to do really well. So yeah, they are available at Target. Get them now while they're on a really good deal. I believe that the sale for the Target Circle ends on the 13th, which is Saturday. So you have a few more days to shop, but um, I would definitely recommend getting these while they're on a good sale. I mean, you cannot beat $13.99 for these. That is such a good deal. You know, it's an amazing deal. So hop on it. Um, and then again, if you're going to ask me if they're coming to the retail stores, I have no clue. I hope so. I would love for them to, but I really don't know. I haven't heard anything. So yeah. Anyways, that is my thoughts. Uh, let me know if you guys have gotten around to picking these up. I would love to hear it. I will link them down below if you're interested in shopping. But yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys 
Um, for the reviews on these, again, they'll probably be coming a little bit later, um, more in like May, I'm guessing, but I'll definitely be doing in-depth um, reviews of all of these, and I'll talk about the scents again when they're on burn, string throw performance. So yeah, anyways, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.